everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to a very exciting episode of CSK News. A lot has happened in the past 24 hours, so all of today's stories will be time marked down below. But the first big story, the CSGO party team has been confirmed, and I am very excited for the future. Whoever's going to assign these five guys, as confirmed by future teammate, that's Bit, as well as HLTV. We do actually have in that post, guys, apparently the trio of Henny and Lucas and KNG, alongside FNX and Team 1 member Bit, will make that five-member team going forward. All it takes right now is an organization to actually sign these guys. Also, according to Bit, their, their future teammate, he's actually said several organizations have approached these guys to actually buy them out because if you guys do not know of those five players only one of them is not under contract that's KNG who is actually asked to leave Immortals organization we still have Lucas though and Henny and FNX all under Immortals contracts so that team could actually not let these guys go they could force a higher buyout if that need be of course who knows what organizations are offering for these guys in terms of price wise but we also have Bit who's actually an inactive player for team one another Brazilian team who's actually qualified for the minor so he might be tied up for the time being as well unless an organization has a huge buyout for these guys, but it does seem they do want to join each other as a team, the CSGO party team as it is. Uh, you actually have several pictures out there of these guys who, of course, like to enjoy themselves uh, at several events out there. I'll be cu really curious to see if these guys do end up together and who actually replaces them on those corresponding rosters. Now, on top of that, though, even bigger news, we do have finalized the roster changes for Na'Vi as of right now. Seize has stepped down from their starting roster to be replaced by a surprise member for Pro League matches. This won't be for any qualifiers or any tournaments for the time being, but it will be Spirit Academy member known as Luke or Alexi. Uh, so he'll be standing in for the time being for Seized. Who knows if Navi is going to continue to replace more players. It seems as of right now it will only be Seized off that roster to be replaced by a Spirit Academy member. And another very semi-CSGO news related guys, if you know the legal department out there, the legal scene out there where people sue each other all the time for money, where money is king in this actual department. We do have allegedly though, Adidas is going to be trying to sue E-League. Many of you guys are very aware of who E-League is. They put on many productions out there for CSGO and other other esports scenes as well. They've also been tied to Adidas central scenes, which is kind of weird because Adidas of course allegedly going to be suing E-League although E-League has put on tournaments for games like FIFA which are sponsored by Adidas so kind of a weird event here as we do have of course in the past we've had Adidas sue other companies out there like Nike they've also been sued themselves by Forever 21 just based off this logo and logos itself out there so I'm going to show you guys a side by side as to why Adidas is actually going to sue E-League for of course the three line the three line logo as you guys can see on screen they're also though different lengths and different directions and different and different functions all together I think it's kind of comical that they're actually going to do this but of course money is king, money is power. They're trying to assert themselves and they may actually win this. So we're going to see if this actually does go through and how it does happen. But I think it's so comical. What do you guys think about this? The fact that Adidas is getting away with even trying to sue E-League for this. And of course, I'm going to have it be a little bit biased because I'm from the CSGO scene and E-League is going to be a host your next major. They're a great production company. And of course, it's just like comparing, let's say McDonald's and Under Armour. McDonald's could sue Under Armour based off this and say, oh, they stole our arcs and they just wrapped them around like that. It's so stupid. Really? What are you going to, what are you really getting out of this? Is it free publicity or it's going to be costly publicity for either side especially if e-league does lose this battle which i really hope they don't what do you guys think about this and how stupid this is please comment down below your thoughts on this whole legal issue and also in very big news yet kind of controversial news out there i do want to talk very briefly about this guys op skins announcing a ten thousand dollar giveaway along with this thousands of dollars of giveaways i'll link that down below for all of you in sponsorship and promotion of their newest currency or a potential new future cryptocurrency which could be the new cryptocurrency of esports and i'm really curious what you guys think about this so please make sure to leave a comment down below what do you guys think? Of course, OP Skins becoming one of the world's largest trading platforms for virtual items, and they're taking this, and they might be taking the great advantage of it, and actually promoting a possible new esports currency out there, which could be known as Wax Token. Now, this Wax Token stands for World Access Exchange, where we could actually have this new Wax Token, just like Bitcoin out there, or other currencies like uh, Ethereum, where we could actually use this to buy virtual skins with reduced fees, so it's better for sellers out there. You're going to be paying less overall, and of course, unlimited restrictions, so you're going to be transacting worldwide with, of course, fewer fees, fewer fewer costs to yourselves and so I'm very very curious about this guys but the main important why, why I'm actually promoting this is because they do have a $10,000 giveaway for a grand prize along with that thousands of dollars of prizes uh, just based off their Twitter so I'm gonna link that tweet down below for all of you guys who want to enter that in and it's gonna be really cool to see how this actually does work if this is the new future of esports cryptocurrency if this currency does take off again I'm not really I'm not I have very limited knowledge when it comes to current cryptocurrencies out there people could be making tons and tons of money off this especially if it does become the next Litecoin or Ethereum or even if it does become the next Bitcoin for virtual items inside gaming. So let me know what you guys think about this. I'll link those giveaways down below. If you guys want to hear more about this as well, I'll also link waxtoken.com down below. And this is a sponsored uh, description for all of you guys who want to know, but I'm really curious what you guys think about this. Is it a money grab by OP Skins? Is it a good idea or a bad idea? Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. And very last in today's episode of Cisco News, guys, and yet very importantly, we actually have the CEO of HR making a guess out there. Not really a confirmed thing as of right now, but he does actually make a guess here as to who's going to be replacing C's full-time for the actual long-time term. 
and it is indeed electronic from Flipside. Now, many of you guys know the imprisonment of this character. We've had many rumors out there of him potentially leaving to other teams out there in the CIS region, Navi being one of them after the major previously, but then he was actually stuck there, announced by the Flipside founder that he will not be leaving for quite some time. But the HR CEO does seem to think he will be signed long term after Alexi or Luke, their current stand in player, does leave the organization. So he, we'll actually see how that story develops in time. And also, we have some pre release patch notes, guys, apparently coming sometime soon. All the Dust 2 updates, which is great. Thank you to all of you guys in the community who actually fixed the Dust 2 rework that actually was released last week. Within seven days, the community actually fixed that long list of things on screen for all of you. So that's going to be great to see when it actually comes out of beta. So, hope you guys all enjoyed today's episode of CSK News. Thank you again to my sponsors and thank you guys for watching and leaving a comment down below. Hope you guys all enjoyed. As always, my name is Jake. Remember, I like you. I will see you all next time. Remember, I like you. Goodbye.